Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss a few multiple choice questions on cranial norms. Number one, multiple choice question, MCQ, a 61 year old man with type 2 diabetes developed double vision while watching his favorite sports program. A physical examination revealed that his left eye was turned medially and his eyeball was unable to follow the examiner's laterally moving finger. Which of the following cranial nerve lesion causes this type of presentation? Optic nerve, oculomotor nerve, abducens nerve, trochlear nerve, vestibulocochlear nerve. Okay. Then, multiple choice. Question two, an anatomy professor asked his favorite student to tell the name of the cranial nerve which exits the brainstem posteriorly and immediately decodes it with the nerve on the opposite side. Which of the following would be the best response from the student? Glossopharyngeal nerve, vagus nerve, accessory nerve, trigeminal nerve, trochlear nerve. Multiple choice question number three. A 73 year old known patient of stroke complained of double vision, has trouble reading newspaper, difficulty to step down the staircase. On physical examination, revealed that patient has weakness of movement of right eye, both downward and lateral. Which of the following cranial nerve nucleus infraction causes this type of presentation? Left main oculomotor nerve nucleus, right adenger nucleus, left trochlear nerve nucleus, right trochlear nerve nucleus, right abducens nerve nucleus. Okay. Multiple choice question number four. A 31 year old man with a known history of pituitary adenoma has developed bilateral hemianopia. Which of the following component of the visual pathway lesion causes this change? Both the optic nerve, optic chiasm, both the lateral geniculate bodies, left optic tract, right optic tract. Multiple choice question number five. A dental student was asking his academic partner to know about the name of the muscle innervated by ciliary ganglion via the short ciliary nerve. Which of the following would be the right answer? Sphincter pupillae, dilator pupillae, levator palpebrae, superioris muscle, superior tarsal muscle, superior oblique muscle. Okay, and these are the answers. Question number one, question number five, if you go there, what is the answer? Okay, dental student asking his academic partner to know about the nerve, innervated by short ciliary nerve, okay, from the ciliary ganglion, that is from the adenosine nucleus, the parasympathetic ganglion, that is the special visceral efferent component of the, of the oculomotor nerve, Okay, which of the following would be the right answer? Answer should be sphincter PPD. A. Okay, we got A. So, question number 5A. Question number 4 will go there. Question number 4. Okay, so 31 year old man, history of pituitary adenoma. Pituitary adenoma is very close to the optic chiasm where the nasal fiber crosses. And nasal fiber represent the temporal field of vision. So, in case of pituitary adenoma, the optic chiasm fiber may be cut, nasal fiber may be cut, that will represent the temporal field of vision lesion that will lead to bitemporal hemianopsia. So, our answer should be optic chiasm. Number four, B is the answer. Okay. So, our answer is B. Number four, answer is B. Okay, 
let's go to the five we got five we got four let's go to question number three okay so a 73 year old man patient of stroke stroke means here the cerebrovascular accident or intracranial hemorrhage in the brain complaints of double vision has trouble reading newspaper it seems to be tilted to him difficult to step down the staircase on physical examination revealed that patient has weakness of movement of the right eye both downward and laterally which of the following cranial nerve nucleus infraction causes this type of presentation so we have problem in the right eye our muscle is the right truck right superior oblique muscle and superior oblique muscle is inhibited by the left trochlear nerve nucleus this contralateral innervation so this is a problem of the superior oblique right sided that is inhibited by the left sided trochlear nerve nucleus okay number two an anatomy professor asked his favorite student to tell the name of the cranial nerve which exits the brain stem posteriorly and immediately decoze it with the nerve on the opposite side which of the following would be the best response from the student yes only one nerve that comes out from the dorsal aspect or posterior aspect of the midbrain midbrain is, is a part of the brain stem and that nerve is the trochlear nerve e is the answer e okay 